Hey, Scott James here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics uh, about widgets. Um, most websites that are built on the WordPress platform are going to have areas where you can um, add and subtract widgets, which are like little modules that could contain, um, you know, a set of links or, uh, you know, it could be a, a, like a sign up form or you know, recent posts or your Twitter feed or, you know, it could be any one of a number of different things. More often than not, you'll find those in uh, what's called the sidebar, which is a little area uh, on the side that contains some content that a lot of times will be repeated on different pages or maybe even every page on the site. So in this case here, I'm on the default WordPress theme. And on this theme, we've got a sidebar right here on the home page. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff out of here and instead I'm going to put in my mailing list sign up form. So I'm already logged in here. So that means that I'm going to have this bar up here uh, that can take me to some of the back end stuff. So I'm going to go right here down to widgets. Okay, and uh, here I am in the area where I can control uh, the widgets that go into that sidebar. So as you can see, there are five areas on this site where I could put widgets. Um, we're dealing right now with the main sidebar. That's what we saw on the, the home page there. Uh, right now, I've got links and I've got uh, some text here that I put in. It just says, welcome, this is my sidebar. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to remove those. Um, just going to drop them out here, and then uh, if now let's say if I, I wanted to save this text, uh, but I wanted to remove the sidebar from the site for now, I can take that and put it down to inactive widgets, and then it will save the text that I put on there. So I'm going to do that for now. Uh, now what I'm going to do is drop in a mailing list sign up form. So whoever you use for your mailing list, in most cases it's going to be a third party site like Aweber or MailChimp uh, or Constant Contact. Um, you're going to go in that account and get your mailing list sign up form. Um, so there should be somewhere on there where you can get a code that you can uh, take that code and drop it in to your website. So uh, I'm going to do that. Um, the way to put in a code in the sidebar is to use a text widget. Uh, so you can not only put in text if I wanted to, um, you know, just type a, a little message there, but we can also put in certain kinds of code. Uh, so we can put in a code for a mailing list sign up form. So we're going to give it a title. I'll just call it uh, mailing. Oops mailing list and uh, I'm gonna drop in the code that I got from Aweber who is my mailing list company so uh, I'm just gonna click save and then I'm gonna close it and now when I go to the front end of the site we'll see the sign up form so uh, so there it is and uh, I can go back to widgets and uh, again, if I wanted to make that inactive, but uh, and, you know, save it for later, I can drop it down here um, and then bring it back. Um, let's say I wanted to add, I mean, you can stack these as many as you want in most cases. Um, so I'm gonna put, uh, I mean, obviously you wanna do something that doesn't look ridiculous, um, but uh, let's see. Uh, We'll put uh, put a little search form on there. So uh, we'll call it search the site. Okay, so now when we go back to the front of the site, you should see the mailing list sign up form and then a little search form and then my text. So uh, that covers the super basics. So hopefully that's uh, enough to get you started. 